Thank you for bringing your portfolio in. I'll be sure our executive director takes a look at it. Doesn't have a care in the world, does it? Thinks he can just breeze through life with a charming smile and a twinkle in his eye. Are you jealous, Danny? I wouldn't want to look like that with floppy hair and cheekbones. Oh. Do you know how much he must spend a week on moisturiser? Doesn't mean he's happy. Anyway, he's in a bit early to be touted for work, isn't he? Yeah, on his way to a job, apparently. A, a photo shoot for dog food. I hope they made him eat it. Looks like he did some beefing up. No, just looking pretty while he opens the tin. Have you ever thought you might be in the wrong business? You know, what with hating attractive people and all that. <laughs> you look tired. Yeah, I came in at six and I'm still up to my eyeballs. But I know this is a silly question, but my brother... You are not going to ask me this. He's not in yet. You did. did. You actually asked. Well, he promised me he'd be in early today. Well, it's your company too. You should lay down the law. Yeah, but uh, if he does show up... Yeah, I'll let him know you want to see him. <laughs> yeah. like you've been to a scarecrow convention, Dr. Clay. Just give it a rest for once, will you? Oh, oh, yeah. Morning, everyone. What time do you call this? Uh, 10.21. Well, what time do you call it? The investigator from the Inland Revenue is coming in tomorrow morning and you still haven't given me your receipts from last year. Yeah, I know receipts. They're so fiddly to keep track of, aren't they? I'm more of a big picture kind of guy. You, brother, you're the details, man. Cheers. I'm only joking. Though. You told me to dig out my receipts, so I've done just that. Go on, big fella. So what are all these for? Business stuff. OK, guys. Who's making coffee? Pin bowling? Entertaining clients. It's an important part of the business. You played nine games. So half the receipts of this box are your social. Calm life. down, look with me, breathe, breathe. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yes. And again. Ah, are you feeling calmer? Jess, the inland revenue are gonna murder us. Don't worry about them. Look, I'll pay for the bowling out of my own pocket if it keeps you happy. Ooh, that reminds me. I did some quality networking over the weekend. I reeled in a couple of potential new clients. Carter and Griffin, the mail order company. You heard of them? That's a massive contract. Yeah. Do you know how many catalogues they publish a year? I certainly do. That's why I went after them. I thought you could knock up one of your presentations. You know, a few slides, some nice printed materials. So when are we seeing them? They're dropping by tomorrow. I can't do a presentation by tomorrow. Not with all the stuff I've got to sort out for the revenue. No one makes presentations that look as good as yours. I know you've got a lot on, but if anyone can do it, you can. Am I right? Good man. The other thing is... What? OK, look, we're in a business where image is everything, right? We're where people come where they want to snap photos of the best-looking people the West Midlands has to offer. So it's important that we give off the right signals. And this stuff, this nitty-gritty, this is not what people want to know about. Smooth, streamlined and presentable. That's what Logan's Models is about. What are you saying? If we've got some big fish dropping by tomorrow, I think it would be good for appearances if we were to relocate this um, stuff you're doing to the uh, executive offices. But we don't have any executive offices. Yeah. This is a stationary cupboard. No, no, no. This is the new powerhouse for the whole business. This is where you get to focus on the work that really matters while I'm out there doing all that fake smiles and tell me how your wife's evening class is going with our new clients. I'm not working in a cupboard. Uh, this is only a cupboard if you let it be a cupboard. This could be anything you want it to be. You know what Dad always used to say? Appearances are everything. Well, we don't want these people thinking that we have to deal with receipts, the inland revenue and all that kind of stuff. If Dad was still with us, I think this is what he'd have wanted, don't you? 
Good man. Now, why don't you make yourself comfortable and I'll get someone to bring your stuff through. Hey. So, I had a cracking weekend. A few drinks, club, massive fry out with the lads the next morning. How about you? Uh, yeah, stayed home, read a book. Yeah, right. Excuse me. Hey, there you are. Hi. Snack time. Oh, great. So what treat can I look forward to today? Rum truffle or, or maybe an exquisite slice of toffee cheesecake or perhaps it's celery again. It's good for you. I reckon the diet's working. You're looking slimmer. I don't think I need to do a diet. I don't want to end up like one of these stick insects that we promote. I'm worried about your health. I'll be fine. I'm going to go see the nurse at lunchtime. Get blood pressure, weight check, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll find out whether this new diet is really working. And you've not been snacking at home? I wouldn't dare deviate from your plan. <laughs> I couldn't face the torment that you put me through. What are you working on? I'm well, planning a presentation for Jazz and getting everything ready for the uh, Inland Revenue. You name it, I'm doing it. Yeah, but why are you doing it in here? Well, Jazz has managed to pick up a massive new contract. So well, their people are coming in tomorrow. So we thought it best that I work in here, you know. So I don't get in under people's feet and drone on about tax receipts and all that. <laughs> you let Jez put you in a cupboard? Well, we thought it was for the best. Why do you let him push you around like this? I don't. This is my firm too. Then why don't you act like it? Oh, Hannah. Wait. Wait. Whoa. Have you been upsetting the ladies again, brother? Is everything all right? If there's a problem, you know you can come to me any time you like. What is it? Come on, talk to Jez. Why do you treat him like this? Just because he doesn't look like you. Hannah, please. I don't know what you're talking about. You put him in that cupboard so your new clients wouldn't see him. You're embarrassed by him, aren't you? What kind of a brother are you? Now listen to me, it was Danny's idea to go and work alone. He just wanted a bit of space so he could concentrate better. Isn't that so? Yes. Fine. My mistake. Why are you so desperate to impress him all the time? I'm not. You never stand up to him. He's the one that keeps the business running. He's the one that goes to all the right parties and reels in the important clients. He's got Dad's charm, his gift to the gab. We couldn't afford to lose him. He gets paid more than you do for half the work. He gets to do what he likes, when he likes. Of course you're not going to lose him. Can we talk about this? Look, I don't want you to be upset. Let's go for coffee after work. No, I can't. I'm going out. Oh. Anyone nice? Yeah, Charlotte's birthday. We're all going, aren't you invited? Oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. I've got too much to do. You've always got too much to do. That's why no one invites you along anymore. I'll rub it in, why don't you? Look, it doesn't have to be like that. But Jez always comes out. We're sick of hearing his endless stories. No one cares about who the latest model is that he's been flirting with. There's more substance to you. Certainly true. Go on, back to your cupboard. You've got work to do. Good afternoon, Logan's Models. How can I help? Ah, have you got a minute? Right, well, I've been going through the diary and I noticed that you've booked yourself to work straight through Christmas. I mean, when you're not here, you're at the police station. Don't you want some leave? Nope. Jimmy, are you okay? Or was there anything else? It's just that if there's something that you want to talk about... Look, I'm sorry I didn't plan my leave to fit in with your neat records. Maybe next time I'll consult you just to make sure I don't do anything to rock the boat. You know that's not what I meant.
So come on, how's the modelling business going? Business is fine. But we've got the revenue investigating at the moment. Oh, well, that can't help your blood pressure. No, it's not serious. You know, it's just a random investigation. The only problem is trying to get my brother to help out. He thinks all paperwork's beneath him. So he's left it all to you? As always. Still, it must be nice being surrounded by fantastic-looking models all day long. Not when you look like this. Well, it's um, still pretty high. Come on, let's pop you on the scales. How's your diet going? I'll be really careful. Strict, not to be uh, snacking. And making sure all the meals I eat are, you know, healthy. Oh, that's brilliant. One of my employees, well, she's a friend, really. She's been making sure I stick to my diet plan. That's nice of her. Yeah, I even feel slimmer. It's still the same, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Sorry. Is that the strong stuff? Oh, yeah. Can I have some? I can't seem to wake up today. Oh. Yep, this will do the trick. Guaranteed. <laughs> what are you so chirpy about? I'm counting down the hours. Dill? Prague. Going around a city break for a few days with some friends at the end of the week. I'm so excited. I love getting away, don't you? What is this, a conspiracy of travel agents? Sorry? I don't want a holiday and I work when and where I want to, okay? Um, yeah, all right. Good. Wait, your coffee! I've tried all sorts of diets and none of them seem to work. How did you get on with the anti-obesity drugs? They made me ill. I had to stop taking them. Oh. I want surgery. A gastric band, that would help. But apparently I don't qualify for one. Well, why not? Well, according to the NHS, I'm just not fat enough. Can you believe it? I have to carry on all this flab, but apparently I'm not quite big enough. You need a body mass index of 40 to qualify for surgery. And at 37, I'm just a mere slip of a thing. But well, nobody seems to care how that makes me feel. I get stared at in the street, humiliated at work. I mean, what do I have to do to get people to take me seriously? Danny, we do take it seriously. Well, if the NHS doesn't think I'm quite big enough to have surgery, fine. There's something I can do about that. Hang on, where are you going? Danny! Okay, I've like cheeseburger and chips, twice. Garlic bread. Do you do onion rings? A couple of portions of those. Uh, I'll have a super-sized milkshake and uh, a Diet Coke. Cheers, thanks. Who is it? Yeah. I just wanted to inform you that I've cleared your diary for next week and you don't have any surgery this afternoon, so you can take your holiday immediately. Just make sure you're back by next Thursday. Sorry, what holiday? I'm just making sure everybody gets their leave before Christmas. Oh, right. Uh, Julia and the holiday mafia sent you. Certainly not. I can do things of my own volition, you know. But you don't want to lose your leave, do you? Besides, you look terrible. 